So, um, we to check uh, who's the uh, stone is down there. I believe it's you. Mine? But I was just down before this. Yeah, yeah wait. Yeah, yeah, not my dad, actually. Yeah, come on. Oh, uh, someone's copy, I see. Whoa. Oh. Why do you put your money in your mouth, these guys? How much you thinking? How much you got? I got a 50. 50? Yeah. Hey, Chas. Price only trained for your home. Uh, how about some tampons for your vagina? Burn! Can you leave it like that? Food check! Okay, you know what? Pet, let's do it! <laughs> Quite. Um, are you in? 50 bucks? Come on. You need what? Now? I'm 50. not financially able. What do you, dude, what do you mean you're not financially able? Dude, you're whiter than us. I mean, look, look at that beard, it's all white. Yes, but your mom's white, so... And what, that automatically makes me white? The rich? Um, yes it does. Look at the facts, Gora. We live in the post apartheid here. We all on the other side of the getting fucked line. <laughs> whoa, 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 easy tiger. Okay, so basically, in a nutshell, you're out this one. Yeah, sure. I'm out of this one. Look, me, I'm just talking cack. You think I'm gonna give him a 50 then? You see what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. Spoken like a typical South African. Promise us everything, deliver us nothing. Look, I just haven't noticed, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm colored, yes. My best bet in this country, okay? It's getting a 9 to 5, right? And supporting the three lost lighters that I had along the way. And there's a weather degree. You know, you guys do know that's like some false, stereotypical, fallacy bullshit, right? I mean, it's neither here nor there. The fact is there. Look here, when I get my degree, I'm leaving this country. I'm going to Australia, New Zealand, Oh, my cousin's already there. You know why? To watch the grass grow. Because they can't get the job in their own country. You know what? That's not going to be us, okay? We are going to be different. I promise you guys, we are. No two ways about it. Oh, where are we? What's your voice? What's your plan? Oh, we are going to be different. Oh, where are we? Wait, wait, wait. Do I want in or not? But of course. You're going to have to chip in. Fuck the rent. Chip in? What the fuck is this? He has new rules. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Who you mean? Uh, a 20. Yay! I'm a student. Can't no, we cheap. You can't give him to anyone. What about my 50 then? What about? Bring it on, bitch. Can you have five? Can you get What time is this class? Um, now. Eco. Three to two. Let's just chuck them. Check here. Um, Where's class? Uh, B block. B block? Brother, that is cuck for. Mmm, oh, yeah, I also don't miss like walking. You're just a lazy now. Um, yeah, check your oaks. You guys get to class and I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Uh, where do you think you're going? Oh. Uh, unlike you faggots, I actually have a girlfriend to maintain and occasionally service. Girlfriends are a waste of time. Uh, think what about do you mean? It. Yeah, what do you mean? Girlfriends, they're like blow up dolls with feelings. I only could find things. Yeah, it's off to do, but neither you know the chick. I can't stand you shooting the breeze all day, okay? So, I'll find you later. Babe, is that you? Take a guess. Well duh, your voice just gave <laughs> it away. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, babes. <laughs> so, what are we doing? Um, I'm studying for this English literature test for tomorrow. And I'm so not ready for it. Uh, here's your modesty again. You usually do fine and I'm sure you'll do good. It'll be easy for you. Easy for you to say when you're not the ones writing it. Well, what's it about? Um, it's on Robertson Crusoe. Crusoe, Crusoe. 
Yes, I know exactly who that is. Really now? Yeah, well, yeah. Isn't he that guy that he gets trapped on an island and um, it's all by himself, but then he meets that African friend and he makes him a slave. He calls him Sunday or Sunday or He calls Monday. him Friday. Friday! <laughs> yes, see? What did I say? Not bad though. You did know some of it. Thank you. I always said I am more than just a gorgeous face. But uh, coming back to the test, what's the essence of it? What's it about? Oh, um, it's on racial discrimination in the novel and social status by race. That sounds intense. It is very. And why are you not in class? Well, I was on my way there, but I just had to pop in and tell you how much I love you. I actually got to get back there fast, but um, look up with you later. I have class at four and then I have this meeting with one of my lecturers who wants me to perform in this play for Theatre 211. Mm, fantastic, well yes. done. You're going to be a superstar. Okay. But okay, then just let me know when you feel in look up later. Okay, okay. Mm. See you, babes. Bye. My turn was all right. Yeah, man, about this all, I meant to man, look for nail, but didn't have enough airtime. But then again, um, for Nami had Tima, and then the Tone Msambi was okay, and their daughter or something like that. So um, I'm hoping Bao will quite upset. And then um, we can maybe meet later as Ted. Eh? But if you get in the past five, now we won't see busy. You can forget us like men. So, um, um, i tell you what, I'm going to phone in the next hour and then I'm going to call you in the next hour and then I'm going to call you in the next hour and then I'm going to call you in the next hour and then I'm going to call you Just look at it. It's so beautiful. A work of art, man. It's scary to think how something so beautiful can kill you. Middle stuck, man. And. <sighs> Get your oh, guys, I'll take whatever. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. Slurring your What's up, voice. guys? Ernie! What? What'd you up, say, man? I'm good, man. You must have chow. You guys even in your piece, not even nah, like that. Yeah, nah, I'm sorry, nah, bro. I'm sorry, bro. It's, 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 this, is, this is kind of people's food. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, man, uh, Toto, got my stuff. Uh, yeah, it's your keys. See you guys just now. Come with me. You Chaps. See you guys in a bit? Yeah. What is that about? You got my stuff, what do you think? Rosanna, have a seat, please. Look, I'm sorry. Your rehearsals were brilliant. I've got your marks in front of me. And, you know, you could have done better. I mean, you felt too many easy turns. What's this thing out? So, with all due respect, I believe I'm performing really good. I pull off my lines well, I do my singing well, and I dance the hell out of my solo piece. You know, you need to relax. You know, it's... I know it's hard. Come back maybe next semester and work harder. Or we could work something out. What do you mean, work something out? My dear, you're a pretty girl. We could work something out. Mr. Parker, I don't think that's appropriate for you as a lecturer. 
It's simple. You can't afford to fail the students' class with all the tuition that you have. What must I do? Face? Is it that obvious? I, uh, I beat up some guy today. Who, Sam? I don't know. I have no idea who he was. It's just some whitey. The reason being? The reason being is because he made some derogatory comment about Ernest, okay? You called him a a darky? A whitey, a coolie, a chara, a babi? All South African titles. What does it matter? I've told you endlessly. Violence is not the way. It doesn't change a thing. Yeah, but, but it's, you know, times are supposed to have like change. It's supposed to be like wine days. It's supposed to be equality now. Equality? What equality? 5 plus 5 equals 10? There's no such thing as equality in South Africa. It doesn't exist. Yeah. Whites had the power, the wealth, the lands, and they gained their goals. The coloreds were stuck in the middle. Now blacks have the power, the land, and achieving their goals. What did the coloreds gain? We back in the middle. For years, we've been squashed in the middle of a false democracy, with hopes for a better future. It's not going to happen. We still live exactly where the white man has put us. And this rainbow nation, just a matter for the world to see that apartheid doesn't exist. I'm telling you, apartheid will still exist in the year 3000. Be it status, wealth, colour, creed or religion, apartheid will still exist. Apartheid's not going to end. You see, Niaz, we were first too black to be white. So we didn't get the jobs. Now, we are too white to be black. We still don't get their jobs. Yet, we were black enough once in 1976 to march with them, to demonstrate with them for this equality that you now talk about. When they gained it, they forgot about us colors. You alone must decide what you want to be. Yeah. And how do I go about doing that? Come 
something. Did you beat up the white guy to defend Ernest? Or did you beat him up for revenge? It was to defend Ernest. Revenge for what his forefathers actually installed in him? This is all these guys know. This is what they've been taught. And learn how to control your emotion. Because a man who controls his temper controls the world. Why don't you go get rid of some of your depression? Go take up Dasabek Salah. Speak to your God. Yeah, yeah, I'll. Well, it's the only, I'll do that. It's the only being that really listens. Yeah, yeah. Good. Good for you. Love you, Nia. Love you, Joe. Definitely Michelle Pfeiffer, bro. Dude, no way. Okay, look here. Hilly Bidu is just way better, man. What? Don't look at Yeah, man. I said it. No, she's better. End of story. Bro, Hilly could never do what Michelle Pfeiffer did. Never. Hilly tried, but she never got that far. Uh, listen here, China. You mean to tell me that Michelle Pfeiffer was perfect? Do I have to really have to listen to the same song and dance again? Look, there's a fine line between mm. was and is. Think about it. Michelle Pfeiffer not only was beautiful, she still <sighs> is. I cannot. She's a, she's a, I don't expect, she's a timeless beauty. What? Yeah, I said it. Bruh, I cannot believe the shit I'm hearing. I mean, can you lick your lips and taste the kaki talking? Sad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, ageless mule dude, no is more like a freaking, uh, I don't even know, bruh. You know what? You need help, dude. And it was not only bitter, she had this like, Sex appeal that most men dig. The type of sexiness that Pfeiffer could never have. What? Nah, no ways. You saw Scarface. Mm -hmm. She looks now as she did so many years ago. Tell me now. Fuck, dude. I'm just saying, when it comes to the idea of who was the, who was the better one, mm -hmm. think about it. I'd say Pfeiffer. I mean, she was the first cat woman there was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's why she used to do go. Dude, what are we? Yo. Seriously now, we've been like, uh, what, what are we waiting here for, by the way? Relax, wait a minute, man. man. Yeah, let's go pick up something. Are oh, you still selling a cock? Relax, um, look, it's... It's just not easy, bro, I need money. Okay. Why didn't you think I don't? Continue. Wait, yes. How are you guys? How are you? Two ways. Two ways, you I like it. You got some stuff? Of course. You got something for me? Two for dinner. Yeah. <sighs> hey, it was very nice brass, no? It's good stuff, man. Don't give me cut. <laughs> Clean cut, you didn't know? Shut the cut. Of course, bro. This is good stuff. Ah, obviously, I'm the best part, eh? I just really am the best. Why is it so much, though? It's the weekend, man. Fans, we can do the devil in our days. I've been all for the cut, man. I've got the cut. Yeah, it's all for the cut. I'm enjoying it. I will see you guys. Yeah. So, Seriously? Why you give me that look, bro? You know why I'm giving you this look, bro. <sighs> look, I now, you know what? It's just, just right there, dude. You need to stop this kind of shit. This is the type of thing that gets you in prison or dead. It's as simple as that, okay? I mean, it's I can't shit this kind of shit. Oh, please, you don't, have, you don't have jack under control, bro, okay? This is becoming a habit. You... 
You know, seriously, bro, what the hell? Were you a fake? I don't know, Jai calling him is not the one sitting there. Probably in class, we should be instead of we doing the shit here. Shit, there's no phone. Dude, you see now, that is the shit I'm talking about. We are yeah, supposed to be in class stuff. now, but you're busy doing this kind of crap. There's a Moors assignment they're giving us today. No, no, it's And I need you to be in class. Excuse me? Well, you know I... Oh, yes, you see, yeah, I we don't have... Over no, yeah, no, you know, Obviously, you don't, I don't have time, have time for this. Why would you have time for this? Because you're busy with shit like this, bro. I need, I need you to be in here. No, dude, 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 look at me. Look, I cannot keep bailing you out. No, I can't keep bailing you out. You dude, here, dude, I cannot keep bailing you out like this. You have to do one assignment by yourself, you know? It's not that difficult. It's not freaking rocket science, bro. Uh, uh, I'm just... Okay guys, so we're going to continue from last week for those of you who are bunking. Now, apartheid restricted the majority of South Africans from engaging in the economy. Directly and indirectly, assets were destroyed and the ability to hire other races was restricted and even forbidden. Now, for this week, what I'm going to talk about is how the state may not unfairly discriminate indirectly or directly against anybody on those grounds, including race, gender, sexual preference, color, culture, belief, ethnic origin, or even marital status. Furthermore, nobody may unfairly discriminate on one or more of those grounds in terms of subsection 3 so basically the question I'm asking is if openly racist white people who are business owners were to prevail and justified by the new laws how long do you think that black South Africans would be promoted to middle management positions in South Africa. <laughs> Sorry guys, is my lecture getting in the way of your conversation? Um, no, I, we weren't talking, we weren't talking. Oh, so first you disturb my class. Now you're telling me I'm hearing voices? Please, Mr. Donis. Penny for your thoughts. Okay. Um, it's not really a, a question in essence. I don't feel it's open for interpretation or is in need of discussion. It's a clear illustration that it does. And it's on your board, you know. <laughs> that thing's literally on the wall. Wow. Two old syllables. I'm impressed, smart ass. Um, give me a little bit more. I mean, it's not like I get paid to do this. <laughs> well, it does. Affirmative action without a doubt discriminates against certain ethnic groups in South Africa. In order to comply with employment equity legislation, a certain number of black candidates need to be employed. They have to. So, anyone, by the way, who's defined as black is anyone who isn't white. So, we are eliminating merit and aptitude for ethnicity because it's a so-called right thing to do. So, is it about hiring the unqualified? Well, I don't think it's that black and white, no pun intended. It's not about rejigging in the composition of the workforce to better reflect the more suitable demographic reality. I would say, in my personal capacity, that employers should be asked to recruit candidates who are best suited for the position. Cool story, bro. Okay, next Christmas, you can sit at the people's table. <laughs> now, 
tell me some more, but this time with feeling. Okay. You need any of these books, which you told us to need. And you'll see that numerous whites from various farms where you can inch. You read a little further and you'll see that in the mix of these whites, were coloreds, Indians, Asians, Arabs, etc. So we can see that the other race groups are getting caught in the crossfire. National Empowerment Agencies come around and assess your business on various categories, usually five, which is ownership, your management, your pretty financial procurement, your skills development, your social welfare. Now, if you employ over 50% black in any of those categories, you get higher points. If you employ black females, you get bonus points. Tells us that you can claim back a higher percentage on your preferential procurement. So that's encouraging, but that's promoting racism. Mm. Whole words. But you have backed them up, so I can't really fault you on that. Apart from sounding like an infomercial, you're actually making some very valid points. So you're basically saying that racism is not a choice? I'd say when you stab someone in the back, it's not a choice for them to bleed. It's a natural reaction any human would have. And as I am human, if I am a racist, that's because this country made me want to do my choice for Okay guys, that's class for today. Assignments are due next week, okay? To my friend, come join me. Looks like you already have company. True. Do you have my money? Nice. I'm impressed. Good clientele. Well, as long as you have my money, I'm happy. But just to warn you, whatever you do, don't even use my shirt. I'll have to kill you. <laughs> Woman, sometimes you have to lower our standards just to have yourselves taken care of. Rosanna? What are you doing here? I'll ask you the same thing. Mm -hmm. Do you two know each other? Are we like gonna pass that old photos and memories now? Hmm? Oh well, I don't have time for this.
Rosanna, my yeah. darling, are you okay? I'm fine. Um, so, what are we having for dinner? Anything you like. Yes. Yeah, mom. What you doing? Um, I got this uh, assignment. Um, do you as be discriminate against certain ethnic groups within South Africa? So yeah. BE. You're mm. doing an assignment on BE. Mm. Have you experienced BE? Have you loved BE? Until you've loved it, then you can do an assignment. Come, it's time to come eat. When do you guys need an answer? Preferably by next week Monday. Keep in mind that you will have to relocate to PE for the showcase, travel start in PE before we go international. Miss Minchilla, are you still there? Yes, yes, I am. Um, I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you, and uh, enjoy it. Okay. Bye. Hello. Hello, Meneer Adonis. Ja, het is ik wat praat. Meneer Adonis, het is jouw vrouw's naam Nasla Adonis. Ja, het is mijn ma. Hoe kom, met wie praat ik? Meneer Adonis, ik is baie jammer om vir jou die nies te gee. Maar jou ma was een ongeluk. En jou ma was raak geskiet in een riot. Is dit moeilijk dat die kan politie kan toe te kom? Ja, ik is op pad.
Babe, I tried, I tried calling you, but your phone's on. I couldn't deal with people today, so... I, I'm worried about you. You know, it's funny. Sometimes you think you have it all in life and have it all figured out. And then, in one moment, it can just get taken away from you. Um, uh, I got a job after I graduated. Oh my god, that's fantastic! It is. Um, I'm so happy for you, oh my god, I'm so proud of you. Um, only problem is, I have to tour for an entire year, and it starts in Port Elizabeth. So, you mean you'd have to leave town? Yeah, after I graduate. And what about us? Where does it leave us? It doesn't have to affect us. You know I can't live without you. We can make it work. Do you promise? Yeah. I, we will make it work. So, Mr. Adonis. Yes. Well done on the assignment. Well, thank you. <laughs> you don't have to thank me, I mean, you did earn it. Well, it's largely due to you, your incessant nagging in class, you're constantly leaving me and pushing me, so, you know. True, but it was a damn good argument, you know what I'm saying? It felt real. Well, once again, I had a good teacher, so. True again. You know, I see a bright future for you. If you keep doing what you've been doing, I think you'll go far in life. Well, th thank you. It means a lot. Thank you. Mm. Just a minor request, though. Certainly. <laughs> Little is talking in my class. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry about that. From now on, to silent as the group. I swear. Okay. Okay. So. Hello? Um, babe, sorry, sorry, I can't speak now. Uh, I'll talk to you again later. Okay, good luck for the interview. Okay, okay, babe, bye.
Just the same? Hi, um, Niaz Adonis. I have an appointment. Ah, go through. She's expecting you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. My name's Leila. Niaz, pleased to meet you. Yeah, you can have a seat. Thank you. So, Niaz, so we have looked over your qualifications and we are very keen on letting you intern here. However, we must just accredit your name with the NFAS. Absolutely. But I don't think that will be a problem, so we'll let you know as soon as that's done. So, wait, basically, that's it? That is it. Okay, so I know I shouldn't actually be asking it this way, and you shouldn't actually be telling me, but how are my chances actually looking for getting it, like? Honestly, the job is yours. Your credentials are good. You have brilliant academic results. It's a no-brainer. The job is basically yours. However, we must just finalize your name with the NFAS. That is fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for yeah. your time. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Yo, man, I'm outside. Come open the door. Oh, wait, just uh, wait. Give me a sec. <sighs> My main man. What's man. up, man? How you doing? How are you, man? I'm good. And you? Cool, Come man. Inside, cool. man. Come inside. Come inside. Thanks, man. Dude, I am just exhausted. And you? Yeah, I'm blank tired, man. I've been hunting for a job this whole fucking time. Fuck. Why are you struggling? Dunno. I just don't know, man. Have you seen the color of your skin? This shouldn't exactly be a difficult task for you. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. It's not as easy as it fucking looks, though. Yeah, well, based on the PE law, I mean, uh, you give a preference because you're what I call previously disadvantaged, you know? Oh, fuck that, do I look like I'm fucking <laughs> previously disadvantaged? <laughs> this was a fucking hell. Uh, uh. Mm, it's crazy. Yeah. I'm one of those babies, man. Mm, absolutely, man. This shit will kill you, huh? You can't kill me. I'm already dead. Mm. <laughs> Or you sound like some fucking vampire or something now. <laughs> nah, dude, this just how calms my nerves. I only got two months left on the lease at this place. What, what fucking nerves? Dude, we have a job interview today. Mm -hmm. Wait, how, wait, wait, where was that? You know, um, uh, Dominic's dead office in town. Oh, sweet, man. They're hiring. Um, they're not hiring, but there's like this intern thing that's going on and I work my butt off to get that interview, bro. Look at that, that chick said it's practically mine, so, you know. Fucking ace, bro. I'm proud of you, buddy. Thanks for me, just I respect that. Uh, but look here, enough about me. What uh, brings you to this neck of the woods? Isn't my area a little too coloured for you? Well, actually, there's this uh, friend of mine. She lives right opposite, mm. uh, right opposite the road, actually. <laughs> She's fucking nice, my man. So, she's a nice slice, you say. <laughs> well, um, let me put it like this. I ain't seen something that tantalizing in a fucking long time. <laughs> nah, I respect more. Cool, man. <laughs> Listen, dude, I gotta go, man. Dude, what? You just so you just got here, my man. What the? I'll tell you what. Tell you what, young blood. Um, let's hook up later for some drinks, and uh, you know how it is, you know? How many times do I have to explain this to you? I am Muslim. I'm a class to do that shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Leave it again, I gotta see. Hey, man. Feel it. What, what the fuck ever, man? One day, shut up at least. I understand the language. <laughs> All right, man. Cool, man. Dude, that's keep safe, man. All right, cool. Sure.
Hello. <laughs> do, do. No, not much. I'm just uh, just making some breakfast. Having some breakfast. What's up? Okay, cool. Um, I'll be there. I'll be there, but I'm just gonna uh, grab a shower quickly. Yeah, okay, see you soon, bud. Strong word. Yes. Give up. I must have that. Fuck. Enough for this. Why was it the one? She left the one. I don't know. Just the one that got away. Enough about me. How's your uh, white chicken? You still seeing it as an American? Yeah. I don't even know anymore what's happening here. Bro. It's like. You should always buzz you like, with the rehearsals or something. It's like, I don't even know when last we spoke. I'm just trying to be really optimistic about the whole situation, you know? Yeah, there's um, something I must tell you. What's up? A couple of months ago, I saw sort of Zena having dinner with someone. Are you sure this was Zena that you saw? I mean, you know, how do you. You've been anybody. Mm -hmm. You've got like shit for vision, so. She was making a statement like that. Yeah, and she was having dinner with my fucking drug dealer. Okay, but I was just. Oh, wait. What are you trying to imply, bro? The facts of the end. I saw a with Mr. Parker. Look at that. No. Okay, I'm sorry you got your facts mixed up. It's just not possible. Yes, see, yes. No, but I can ask me it's not possible. You know what? Found. Do you have any time? Found. Oh. You know, 
Yo, Zena, this is your boyfriend, Niaz. Maybe you still remember me. Give me a call on my phone. Happy voicemail. Fuck this bitch. You're gonna move on. Okay, you. Yeah, you can do better than this. Really. I don't, I don't think fuck, don't be like me. Look at me. I can phone you to come back pull with me on the fucking weekday. Where's my life? Where's my life? Where's my life? I never had one back. Fuck you. How's this uh, job in the viewers going? Well, she pretty much said it's mine, dude. In the bag. Do not yet like call these people to check out and make sure. Dude, I was in the office. She said it's mine. So it's How long ago was it? It's like two weeks, three weeks. What the fuck is it? Two weeks. Three weeks. To these people. Uh, you're not supposed to f phone them and follow up. But like. yeah, I told you. It's going to be mine, okay? You don't just say it's my shit. Shit, it's mine. It's going to be mine. We lost you, Father? Bruh, just... What? What is what you today, bruh? Father, no. I'll ask her. Dude, I don't need that. Let me phone again. Fucking talent, man. Hello? Hi Leila, it's um it's Niaz Adonis here. I don't know if you recall we had uh, we we had an interview not too long ago. Yeah I did. Um I just wanted to find out, am I still gunning for that uh, position? So we were meant to still get back to you. Unfortunately the job has gone to someone else. Oh, okay, wait, just 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 Okay, just wait one second. You you said it's basically mine, okay? You said it's practically mine. It was your words. It's, it's a done deal. Yes, but I didn't say it is yours, I said it's basically yours. No, that's what you said. Unfortunately, we gave it to someone else. Well, if I didn't get it, then who did? I can't tell you that, sir. No, 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 no. You promised me a position and then you gave it to someone else. The least you can do is extend the courtesy of telling me who got it over me once it was promised to me. So I'm not supposed to be doing this, but just hold on one second. His name is Ernest Buntu. And how did this Ernest going to get it over me? So I'm really sorry, I can't tell you anything else. It's because it's black, isn't it? So I'm really sorry, I'm gonna have to end this call. No, look, just, just wait. Fucking cuff. Dude, I gotta go. Okay, okay, okay. We'll discuss this later. Discuss what? How you stabbed me in the back? I didn't stab you in the back, bro. I applied for the job, I got it, and you did it. You want to know why you got this job? The color of your skin. It's always been because of the color of your skin. This is supposed to be a democracy, goddammit. You know what? I'm sick of being a president in my own country. You know, for years the white enslaved everyone, and now you get to enjoy the spoils because you were considered previously disadvantaged by my people. Listen, dude, that's a little bit crumbles. Look at me. Let me tell you something, buddy. It's not right, it's not fair. Fuck you, Nias. Life isn't fair. Fucking watch yourself, bro.
Listen, I don't know who you are, what you do. I just don't care anymore. 
I went in. Okay. You two cafe, 10 a.m. Sunday. Yeah, I know the place. Suit yourself. So how do you feel? It's a very expensive question. Feel about what? What do you mean about what? I mean about this country, the financial crisis, Ethiopia, us meeting. What? Listen here. Don't come here and waste my time. Otherwise you can get the fuck out. Waste your time. Either you're with us, or you're not. You decide. But like I said, otherwise you can get the fuck out. It's actually how I feel sometimes, like I'm out. Because this country has taken everything from me. You have no idea what it's like waking up in the morning not knowing where you're gonna procure your necessities from. If you're gonna have a job, if you even belong in the world. You know, this country wants to raise a flag on democracy equality and try to you know right the wrongs of the past and the historical injustices sure they want to right the wrongs you know reverse the playing field but what does that do in order to comply with the employment equity legislation a certain number of candidates need to be appointed in a black group how is that not promoting racism it's like every day I wake up and I just look out the window thinking is my place. Is the place for my people. First we were too black to be white, now we're too white to be black. I couldn't care less about the whites or the blacks. You've had your land, you've had your time to shine, you've had your monies, you've built your empires. It doesn't need 
by saying it doesn't change your thing. So you put yourself in my position before you decide to judge me. Wait! Sit down. What? What makes you think you have what it takes to be part of us? I don't have a choice anymore. Prove it. It's just, everything that was so good is so bad. Everything is just, it's just going it all. It was, I had everything and now I had nothing. Life's not fair. Look at yourself, man. Exactly, look at me. You were the best of us now. Oh, bullshit, bro. Yes. Look at you. Exactly. No, look at, no, look at, look at, look at you. Exactly. No, look no, at No, no, exactly. Look at me. Look at me. Look at what, look, what am I? I'm you nothing. You are the best. Oh, that's, that's, that's bullshit, okay? Don't be a fuck up. It's, it's a, don't you know be what, a I fuck up. Yeah, don't be a fuck up. Don't be a fuck up. Do you know what it's like? Living with a needle in your fucking arm. Stuck, stuck on an addiction that you don't want to get off. Stigmatized by fucking society as a junkie. You know what? Get over yourself. This was your choice, okay? This you did this to yourself, okay? You can get over this anytime you decide to. I have no future. Okay. For me, don't think I need to be strong and believe in yourself, okay? Do you think I've tried now? I have no future. You do, okay? I, I have you no future. Me. You do. Right? You can still make something of life. Do it for yourself. You have your life ahead of you. What life do, do I it. Do it. Do things for yourself. Fuck South Africa rejects you. Try elsewhere. Go abroad. Sky's the limits in the other thing. Do it for yourself, man. Yeah. yeah. Do it for your mother. <laughs> this is nice real wine.
Yes. What are you doing? I'm looking for Oceania. Excuse? Can you meet Oceania for that, I Hello? Baby.
No. You think this is just a country club you can walk in and out? You killed for us. You know who we are. Think about your options. I don't wanna. I just don't care anymore. The love or die makes no difference and neither does your fucking movement. You can't level the playing fields of a party deck. B, E, E, or affirmative action. Racism will always exist. Those labels will continue until the day the world ends. You won't change a thing. Your movement will change nothing. I'm out. Yes. One more thing. 